Hello, Sun Tzu fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today, I want to talk to you about your forensic environment. I want to talk about how you have your forensic systems set up. I'll tell you where this came from. I was helping a friend the other day with, uh, with their website that they had hired someone to, to build them a new website on the WordPress platform. And uh, we had set up the hosting environment and installed WordPress and then gave them the credentials. And when I went back three days later to have a look at how things were progressing, I saw that the person building the site had downloaded no less than about 15 different themes for the site, picked one and left all the others there. And it got me to thinking about forensic environments. And I think that anybody who's done forensics for 10 minutes has been there. Uh, we, we find a specific file type or something uh, that isn't the norm and we need to open it. We need to analyze it. And so we go searching for a program or something that will allow us to do what it is that we need to do. And maybe we download two or three and open them up and try them till we settle on one that works. That's great. What do you do with the other ones that you downloaded and you didn't use? Now, I know I can hear you shouting at the screen, well, Kevin, we remove them. Yeah, in a perfect world, we remove them. I agree with you. Are we removing them? I'm as guilty as anyone saying that, well, I'll go clean this up later. And I'm not trying to be preachy about keeping a pristine system uh, because I know the realities. But I want us to think about the more, uh, the more important potentials here. Each and every piece of software on our system is a potential vector for the adversary. And again, I know there's people shouting at the screen saying, Kevin, you mean you do forensics on a machine that's connected to the internet? Not usually, but I may. I've got to update the machines at some point in a controlled environment. Uh, and I can, I can honestly say that as much as we say you never do forensics on a machine connected to the internet, well, you don't need to tell me, and you don't need to tell everybody listening, but just ask yourself. And if you say, yeah, Kevin, we never connect to the internet, you are the exception rather than the rule. Uh, certainly, when we're doing child exploitation cases, completely isolated, locked off environment, absolutely no question, there is no, uh, no compromise there. But the takeaway from this is, have a good hard look at what's running on your forensic rig, remove anything you don't need. And that includes running services. But in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Three Minutes Max.